In this video, we're going to be doing a basic review of this entry-level telescope. I'll put the link below in the description. This is a nice little model that's extremely easy to assemble. It takes about 10 minutes or less, and the materials seem to be of decent quality, especially for the price. And it comes with some nice little features and lots of cool gadgets. So it's not an incredibly powerful telescope, again it's entry level, uh, but it is very small and compact so it won't take up uh, much room at all and it comes with this nice little travel bag. Here's the 3 times Barlow lens and it comes with a 10 millimeter and a 25 millimeter eyepiece. So the instructions are pretty clear. We've got one piece of paper, double sided, color images, very simple. Then again, it's really simple to assemble. There aren't a lot of pieces that you actually have to put on there. So the finder scope that you can see here is held down by two bolts, and really that's the only piece you have to assemble to the telescope itself. It also comes with a smartphone adapter, which can hook up directly to the eyepiece, which we'll see in just a minute, and a really high quality monoscope, uh, which you can attach to a little travel tripod that accompanies it. And last but not least, it comes with a Bluetooth powered shutter button. So you can pair this via Bluetooth to your smartphone and actually take pictures without actually having to touch your phone itself. Here's a look at the tripod that comes with it. It's fairly sturdy and has a traditional attachment mechanism. It's a fairly lightweight tripod and it does come with an accessory disc that you can screw on to hold all of your lenses and other items that you need access to. Attaching the telescope to the tripod is incredibly simple. Tightens up really nicely here. Here's another view and the zenith mirror that kind of rotates with a nice cover of course. And on the front you'll notice there's a dust cover with your glass inside. The telescope has a high gloss painted plastic body. Now once your zenith mirror is installed you're going to take out your eyepiece and of course start with the uh, 25 millimeter and be quite careful don't touch the lens with your fingers. And you just slide it into the zenith mirror there. You might have to unscrew that bolt. That's what locks it down once it's in place. With our eyepiece installed, we can rotate the focus, as shown here. And we can actually start to see an image appear. Obviously, this is foliage. We're not stargazing. This is a day shot video. And to increase the magnification, you can use the Barlow lens. This is a three times Barlow lens that accompanies this telescope and you just put it in between the zenith mirror and the eyepiece itself and lock everything down with the small bolts on the side. Now I'll take a moment to mention that if you happen to have a tripod lying around the house, for example a higher quality one like this one, uh, this is my own personal one that I use with my camera, it has a rotating ball head so that I can control the uh, horizontal and vertical axes with one hand. The point being you can attach this telescope to virtually any tripod. Now a really nice little gadget that accompanies this telescope is a Bluetooth activated shutter. And so you want to pair that with your phone. There's a little button on the side and pairing is instantaneous and incredibly simple. With my particular phone I can open up my camera directly and press the button to take a picture. Now to attach your phone to the phone adapter that accompanies this telescope, relatively simple. There's a dial, it opens, you put your phone in, you uh, tighten down the dial to secure your phone. Align the lens on your camera with the hole in the adapter there and tighten everything down. And then place the adapter on the eyepiece. And I recommend putting a pillow or a blanket down. This is not the most well-made piece of plastic. The adapter itself 
and it has fallen off before. But you can see this is how it works. And I'm not going to comment on the quality of the images. That is very subjective based on the individual. But it's an entry level telescope and it takes fantastic images of the moon and other uh, relatively closer objects.